YouTube, what's going on my people, my lovely people? This is me, Julian Ehab from Notes Punch again on another for review this time. Today's review is gonna be from the House of Diptyque and the uh, fragrance uh, would be L'Ombre dans l'eau or translation in English, The Shadow in the Water. Uh, this is a rose-based fragrance guys, the most natural and green rose based fragrance that I ever encountered in my whole life. Uh, I'm glad I tried it. Uh, I didn't expect that at all from this specific fragrance. And it, it was um, my second try from this house, Diptyque. I, I smelled Philosophicals once and to be honest with you guys, it, just, it was just too green for me. And uh, at a time, uh, and uh, I wasn't really blown away. But uh, with this one, it's got the uh, philosopher's greenness besides the figs. There's no figs in here. And uh, the rose. And I'm a big fan of rose. I love rose fan fragrances. So um, it was a, like a love at the first whiff for me. And uh, I'm glad I did try it. And uh, it was just an amazing scent for me. Anyway. This uh, specific fragrance start off very green, very tart, very sour from the cassis leaves and the black currant. Uh, cassis leaves, it's just so green, gives you this green vibe. A lot of people says it smells like tomato plant or tomato leaves or this. I totally can see that and I... I think it does, but there's no tomatoes here at all. It's all came from the uh, the cassis leaves and the black uh, current leaves. Uh, they both got this green vibe, and it just makes it smells like a tomato plant. And uh, the black current gets it, makes it a little sour and tart. Black current, it's uh, it's a fruity, it's 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 a fruit, and uh, it's it's uh, it's. Uh, it's so tangy and tart and sour so um, that's what uh, gets uh, gets this fragrance to smell like green and sour in the same time a lot of people resemble it to cat piss um, to be honest with you guys I'm not familiar with cats so uh, I, I don't know how cat piss smells like but uh, like I'm, and I'm guessing cat piss smells bad but I don't think this uh, the, the, the opening here smells bad at all uh, it just smells so green, so fresh, and so sour and tart, with a hint of rose. The rose, like at the opening, it just in the backbone of uh, the opening of this fragrances, this fragrance, and um, it just uh, it just play like a supporting role to and gives it a little bit of sweetness to the uh, compos the opening composition. Uh, to the greenness and the uh, sourness from the black currant and the cassis leaves and then uh, the cassis leaves and uh, the black currant kind of like tone down a little bit and gives and give a space to the rose just to amp up and just like dominate this fragrance afterward uh, don't get me wrong uh, the cassis leaves and the black currant this is gonna be there for almost the whole journey of the whole life of this fragrance and they're gonna be like really dominant but uh, in my opinion rose like really dominate this uh, like uh, the whole the rest of the rest of the life of this fragrance then rose really amp up and just became the uh, the uh, the master note for this uh, fragrance and really become like really sweet and fresh and natural it personally this uh, fragrance makes me happy it just reminds me of uh, a spring a very beautiful spring day and you're like in a rose garden so you're smelling like a real those uh, blooming rose flowers and they're like really uh, uh, smelly with uh, like really uh, I don't write and it just like smells like really uh, intense and dense and uh, with the rose stem the rose stem just that's what it gives the greenness into it so 
it's basically you're uh, like in a rose garden and uh, it just f smells phenomenal guys it just uh, it makes me really happy it just reminds me of uh, happiness uh, spring uh, flower blooming gardens and uh, uh, those type of stuff so uh, in my opinion just it just it, it this is a very very good uplifting fragrance so um, I'm looking into buying a whole bottle of this uh, even though it's a, a little bit on the feminine side I think it's just too feminine like it's just it, it goes toward the feminine side but I think it just it smells great on me and I'm, 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 I'm confident enough just to pull it off and, I, and it lasts on me as well and it smells awesome phenomenal on my wife so uh, I think I'm, I'm really thinking of uh, really uh, uh, finding uh, a good deal on this bottle or probably I'm just gonna get it from Amazon or something and it's it's reasonably priced so it is not that bad and uh, I'm, I'm totally it's it's a bottle worthy for me then uh, what happens uh, into the uh, rest of uh, the life of this fragrance the rose gets really dense and really uh, sweet and uh, how can you say ripe like ripe or bloom you know when the rose is like in in the top smelling uh, phase on its life so it just gets that and it gets powdery in the same time but not bad powdery it's like rose powdery so uh for people who doesn't really like uh rose based fragrances this is gonna be like a grandmother's hug like 100 percent. so uh, i i don't really recommend this for you guys but for people who loves roses, I think uh, you need to check this one out. It's feminine. It's it's not that feminine. I think it's unisex, but leaning toward the feminine side a little bit. But um, I don't mind wearing it. I think I'll, I, I can pull it off easily. So I don't know about you guys, but uh, you can just go to Barney's. I think they, they do sell it at Barney's. You can go to Barney's or something and just get yourself a sample and just try it out I think it, you know it deserves a try you know you you might like it and uh, this uh, rose this really dense sweet rose it just stays through the whole life of this fragrance and um, until and it lasts I mean it, it like it ra lasts and projects not bad at all and I only tried the EDT I haven't tried the EDP and uh, I heard the EDP it's uh, richer and it lasts longer so I'm, I'm really excited of, of trying the EDP I haven't tried the EDP yet but this is just out of the EDT and EDT EDT's performance it's not bad at all so and uh, I am or for me I'm I don't know but I'm just lucky enough uh, most of my rose based fragrances just that's the note that lasts on me and the projects on me this is my uh, favorite uh, note that like if I want to get attention and or just like I want to smell and uh, and project and it you know rose, rose is just the one for me uh, what else uh, at the very end of this fragrance the sweetness and the powder the, the, the powder feel of this fragrance really toned down with and it just gives the musky feel uh like just it's it turns out to be a little musky and uh don't get me wrong rose it's always there it is always there and it's the dominant but the rose is just kind of like toned down a little bit and the musk and up so it just kind of like turns into like musky rose creamy powdery type of feel and uh, just and like and it says like this until the very end of this life of this fragrance um, longevity it a solid eight hours for me maybe seven to eight hours uh, I and I just tr I only tried it out of uh, a sample and uh, it was not bad at all um, just like it was there the whole time I always can sniff it and um projection a solid four hours 
four hours it was like I had like a very good nice bubble around me and um, I like people noticed me and uh, and I don't get that a lot to be honest with you guys for some reason I, I, I always tend to like like overspray uh, and uh, when I do that then I that that's when I get noticed but uh, most of the time when I just like uh, apply normally I don't really get noticed as much but with this one out of uh, like a few sprays and I was like I remember it was at night and I was just going to Trader Joe's and um, uh, not at night like at 7 like yeah it's like in the evening and uh, it was like really projecting and uh, really uh, like I, I got not noticed a lot like out of uh, my neighbors when I was walking by and uh, my wife the first thing when she came home I was like oh you smell good today so and she had no idea what I was wearing and uh, she really really liked this one um, I'm really excited about this one uh, and it's honestly on um, my to buy list I, I just don't understand how come I just didn't buy it yet because it was just as I said earlier it was a love at a first sniff uh, so uh this is it guys thank you guys for watching uh please rate comment and subscribe right here and uh see you guys soon peace